Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. We're going to go in the news, as you can see here, all right, from uh, the People's Voice TV. Pope Francis. All right, authorizes the World Economic Forum to rewrite all right, a fact-checked Holy Bible, all right, meaning the things that are not in line with their NWO and the philosophy that comes with it, all right, they will be altered and the Bible will be represented to the people. And we know down the line the plan all right, is to totally do away with the Bible and the existence of God as we knew him, okay? And years down the line, people will have no memory, all right, or recollection of the Most High, the Bible, reading, and ultimately doing their own research. All of those types of uh, things will be done away. I was also checking this out, um, okay, because they don't want a nation of thinkers all right, uh, they're losing an the information war. So as you can see here, scientists warn, all right, that doing your own research is dangerous and turns people into conspiracy theorists. You see, so, you know, the, the, the fact that mainstream media um, is now a thing of the past, people are going to these alternative platforms, uh, you know, people are reading up on things as we're in the, you know, the time where information is just, you know, abundantly out there. You know, as I said at camp, it makes no sense to be stupid, all right, at this point in the game with all of the information that's out there, all right, but, um, you know, this truth allows us the wisdom, all right, to be able to apply that knowledge because the word knowledge is just, a, you know, data is just information. It means to know, okay, but again, as the scriptures say, with all that, uh, with all that you know, knowledge, you have to get understanding, and that's through wisdom. All right, people who do their own research are likely to reject mainstream narratives and are for, far you know, more likely to believe in conspiracy theories, which they've been able to take that word with people not doing research. You know, they've been able to use that word to, you know, label people and put people in this particular box that means something negative when the word itself just means, all right, uh, two or more people planning to do evil. And if you have a theory about that, you're not necessarily crazy as this world is ran by a bunch of degenerates. So to think that the 1%, as they call them, or the people who really run this run up, uh, get up, you know, the elite banking families, you know, to have a theory about the evil that they're planning to do and that they have done, that does not necessarily make you um, crazy. Well, a lot of people over these last three years have you know, uh, been listening to alternative media platforms and doing their own research. And they've come to the conclusion that the people who run this world are a bunch of sick, evil, perverted, twisted individuals. And the results of people who follow them and do the things that they say to do have led to what? Confusion, death, and people turning into more zombie-like. So as we go deeper into this NWO, all right. They're going to want more control of the mind. And that's what it's all about. They want control of the mind. Now, going back here. OK, because if they can control the mind. All right. And get, you know, uh, you know, that 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 your mind on, on their database and merge man with machine, then, you know, they can have full control and be like the most high. As the scripture said, that's their plan. All right. As a matter of fact. Let's read this and we'll get that scripture. It says that in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, as it describes the king of Babylon, which who's the king of Babylon, the Edomites. OK, in particular, the elite. All right. Not you regular everyday so-called, you know, the, the whites. You're not the kings of Babylon. All right. In the grand scheme of things, <laughs> you're, you're uh, as the scriptures say, he's evil to his own people in the grand scheme of things. A lot of you regular everyday Edomites are figuring out that your elites have left you out. All right. So now you have this truther movement. 
where you have a, a big, large amount of Edomites, whether they you know have a little bit of money or whether they're just completely broke, they're going on to the internet and they're cursing out the elite bankers. The Lord has put a spirit on them to bring things out, okay, to, to come up against this system. But right here, we see that the world economic forum has has been granted authorization by the the pope okay to rewrite the holy bible according to a wef insider who reveals that the pope wants the new fact-checked version of the bible okay we saw uh last year or earlier this year PETA, you know do a vegan version of the bible where you know there's no animal sacrifice and uh, you know you can't eat meat that's forbidden Basically, these devils are, are in a high uh, spirit of rebellion against the Most High. And this is what pretty much was happening at the time of the Tower of Babel, right? The, the minds of the rulers and the people have just went completely left to where the, the, uh, the uh, respect for the Most High, all right, and then His only begotten Son are just completely out of the door. And the Catholic Church, which Catholic means universal, all right, the Bible was never meant to be universal. The Bible is ultimately for the Israelites, okay, who are ultimately going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and a remnant is going to return via the promise that was given to our father Abraham, passed down to Isaac and Jacob, which gives us rights back to the Garden of Eden. And that land is going to be ran by Yahweh Shai and the 144,000 with the large multitude coming in under them. That's the plan of the Heavenly Father to set the sons of God back in the Garden of Eden, Jerusalem, eastward in Eden, and ultimately rule this whole earth after we part inheritance amongst the 12 tribes. But the, 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 these heathen have their own uh, uh, plans. So now they're saying what's in the Bible is misinformation. The whole time they went around parading themselves as if they believe in the Bible. But the whole time the Catholic Church has been what? The forwarder of idols. All right, there's nothing but Semiramis, Tammuz, and all of these various different uh, idols have been worshipped in this church, okay? And they've, they've paraded themselves around as if they really believe in the Bible, all right? But they're really worshippers of Satan. Now they want to have the Bible fact-checked and reintroduced to the people, all right? To be far more political, okay, with a central place for the primacy of the nature and less about the most high. Okay. Pope Francis has already declared that Claw Swab is more important than who the world calls Jesus Christ, who they say is fake news. And now he is determined to dismantle Christianity. All right. Which Christianity in a nutshell is a joke. All right. But the true followers of Yahweh Shai were called Christians. OK, but really what they want to do is root out the truth because the truth. All right. Is antagonistic to the plans of the new world order. You see, now he is determined to dismantle the truth of the Bible from inside, from the inside and replace God's word with the demonic vision of the global elite, which is going to deal with. Uh, which these are the terms that you're not going to be able to, you know, uh, talk about or or use in the, in, in the days to come. All right. His decision has caused a storm in the Vatican, but should we be surprised by his support for the e elites NWO? Now there's a video here. Let's see here. There's a video here, um, which if I do a news and prophecy this week, I'll go into the video. Um, but as you can see here, the, the misinformation in the Holy Bible must be fact-checked and erased. Okay, so these are the, the this this is where it's going. Now let's get a, a precept here real quick. This is uh this is what's going to lead to Armageddon. These are the days we're in. This is why Armageddon is being prepared because the Lord is going to put a stop to this madness, where He's going to gather all of the nations, all right, for the purpose of a, a great judgment. Okay, Yahweh Shapat. All right, yeah, the, the the Heavenly Father's judgment is getting ready to be laid down. That's why we see all of these things being prepared. All right, and they let you have your little Christmas. Okay, and and uh, you know the 
things seem to be okay, but if you really in the spirit, you see things aren't okay and things are completely chaotic in the world. But this is the book of Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, which is this revival of Rome. Okay, that we're in the revival of Rome. Okay, and out of the uh, mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet, the false prophet represents what? The Roman Catholic Church. So we're seeing those unclean spirits, all right, as their philosophies are becoming more apparent in the earth. All right, we're in the new uh, modern day version of the Tower of Babel. Now, when you deal with the three frogs, you have out of Washington, D.C., the military power. Okay, you have out of London, the, the power of the, uh, the international bank, the banking. All right, that's how they keep everybody in debt. All right, and then you have the power of the Roman Catholic Church, all right, which is ultimately uh, the, these how these elites, because the Pope is always involved on some level in all of these decisions, even this climate ordeal. OK, the, they, they came up with a new climate, Ten Commandments. This is a high level rebellion, you see, but Christians are running around chasing the Israelites around. But people who really have power, like the Pope, who says it's OK to marry a man and a man and a woman and a woman, the whole, the, the, the uh, transmission movement, he's all for that. You see, but you have people who call themselves Christians who, who don't check, all right, the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church is responsible for billions of little children being molested. Okay, millions, hundreds of thousands and millions to millions a year just being molested. And the organization has not been shut down. It's one of the richest organizations in the world. This isn't the forwarding of the true church of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, dealing with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They've used the Bible as a means to deceive. As it says here in verse 6, 14, it says, For they are the spirit of devils working miracles. And this has, it has everybody drunk. It has everybody in debt. It has everybody in fear. This beast system, all right, is really here to forward, all right, the, uh, the spirit of Satan in the earth which Satan means adversary. So if you notice everything that's happening in the earth, all of the rules are leading to what? Rebellion against the most high. Okay? Which go forth into the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the great day of the battle of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. All right? Let's look up this word watcheth. All right? Which is why we're doing these videos, man. Because we're watching. All right. And the Lord has set up these particular platforms. Uh, you know, the, you know, like this one we're looking at where these people report on it. As the scriptures say, so shall their tongues fall upon themselves. OK, the word is Gregorio. All right. To watch metaphorically, to give strict attention to be cautious, active. This is why the biblical Edomite is putting out all kind of confusion. You know, all of these so-called celebrities are being used to what? Distract your mind, the bread and circuses, okay? The, the, the entertainment is all being thrown and pushed out at a higher and rapid rate because they are doing something in the earth. And what are they doing? They're trying to establish Satan's kingdom, all right? To take heed lest through remission and indolence, some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one, all right? And let's look up this word indolence just so we can know. The word is avoidance of activity or exertion, laziness. All right, and this is what you know the 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 uh, the, the the foods, the water, everything is being geared towards lowering your vibration and undertaking and overtaking your mind, subverting your mind. Okay, uh, the changing the direction of your mind. Okay, and this is why we have to continuously watch. OK, and, uh, uh, you know, and report these things. All right. So that none of the elect. All right. Are without guidance. OK, let's look at the readers in the NLT. Look, I will come as an unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are all who are watching for me, who keep their clothing ready so they will not have to walk around naked and ashamed. So bl behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. And keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And walking naked means you you without the covering, which is the full armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. 
and he gathered them into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. So the, the World War Three is right around the corner. All right. But you have the, the three spirits. All right. The unclean spirits like frogs pushing themselves in the earth. Their military is boasting itself. Their monetary system is getting ready to go digital for the purpose of enslaving humanity. OK. And, and, and now we see the false prophet, the Catholic Church boasting. All right. And giving someone power to change the Bible. OK, because they are supporters of this new world that they're trying to accomplish. OK. And as it says. In the. Uh, when you get the book of uh, Genesis. The uh, sixth chapter. All right. See, before the flood came, the behavior of the people were just completely off, especially the behavior of the sons of God. OK, well. The, the, the same thing that's happening in our time. Give me one second here. All right. The same thing is happening in our time. Okay. Genesis 6 and 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of his thoughts, of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Okay. And really what I wanted was um, Genesis the 11th chapter. As they were trying to establish that Tower of Babel. Genesis 11 and 5. And Yahweh came down to see the city. All right. And how does the Lord come down via the chariots? And the tower which the children of men build it. And they're building a tower. A, to a tower, a digital tower of evil, man. And the Lord said, behold, the people was one. And they all have one language. And this will I begin to do. And this they begin will begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Okay, so now they're they're boasting in some of the most <laughs> crazy and and blasphemous things. Okay, who the hell is this guy? Which the Pope is to be the vice regent of the Son of the Most High on the Earth. Okay, that that that's uh, the uh, the. Uh, the role of the Pope as you look it up the Pope therefore is the first and foremost supreme pastor okay <laughs> so this is the false prophet all right the uh the the Roman Catholic Church not just this particular Pope but that whole system which I mean you know when you deal with it it's bringing back the energy of the serpent okay that's why they have that serpent hall in the Vatican Okay, which the word Vatican uh, means diviner. This is that old serpent, man. Okay, that means he that he represents Christ's love and concern for every single individual. All right, you see how this is off. This is why the Pope's priority lies in getting to know people, understanding how they live, listening to their interests, and sharing their sufferings and their joys. So this is why the alphabet people. Uh, have rights this is why all of this confusion all right is being uplifted all right and the church which is supposed to be separate and holy isn't because all of these particular uh, uh denominations whether it be the uh the uh you know the you know the, they all stem from the catholic church the pentecostal baptist all of these different you know seven day all they all stem from the catholic church in some shape form or fashion and they're all under that vibration all right, which does not deal with the interest of the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, nor his only begotten son. This is where our Lord was crucified, as the scriptures say. This is that spiritual Sodom in Egypt. All right, this is the spiritual authority of that spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay, so this devil was getting ready to, to, to go all out. All right, Let's see if we can just play a little bit of it. The World Economic Forum has been granted authorization by Pope Francis to rewrite the Holy Bible, according to a WF insider who reveals the Pope wants a new fact-checked version of the Bible to be far more political with a central place for the primacy of nature and far less about God. Pope Francis has already declared that Klaus Schwab is more important than... And that black eye is a ritual. All right, that's a ritual um, that you see a lot of these elites do. These are a bunch of sick people and it's all coming out. 
You see the Lord got the spirit, you know, uh, uh, honed in on Hollywood. Okay, which the, the, all of these things are the, the they all under the authority of Satan. Okay. And then Jesus Christ. And now he is determined to dismantle Christianity from the inside and replace God's word with the demonic vision of the global elite. Pope Francis's decision has caused a storm in the Vatican, but should we really be surprised by his support for the elite's new world order? As an agenda contributor at the WEF, Pope Francis is fluent in blasphemy and is actively working to subvert the church and Christianity. Under the energy of this, okay, people call evil good and good evil. Okay, so when we bring out things that are holy and separate from the world, now those things which the church was supposed to represent the holiness of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, now this world looks at things that are separate, all right, from the demonic things that are happening in this world, all right, and things that speak out against it. They look at those things as evil. Good things are now looked at as evil, and evil things are now being accepted, all right, because we have to deal with the interest of the people, with this garbage democracy, okay? Well, the the the, uh, the interest of the people is what dictates the law. You see, and it's a snare because ultimately it's their agendas that get passed. They're able to use their media to 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 promote all of this garbage and make all of these issues that really ain't issues. Okay, and now they got people so confused and 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 destroyed that they're ready for the taking. But the truth synonymously has been spread in the earth through the prophets. And there's a spirit of rebellion against the elites. All right, so they're getting ready to lose their minds. Christianity across the world. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community to support the channel. This is the Pope who joined forces with Bill Clinton in September to announce that humanity must be urgently depopulated to save the planet. And this is the Pope yeah. who informed his flock. And that's that climate stuff. They're all in on it. And 2024 is going to be more draconian. That relationships with Jesus are dangerous and harmful. Breaking with centuries of Christian tradition, Francis Sparks fears that he is an illegitimate pope with a sinister agenda when he told a crowd of 33,000 pilgrims in St. Peter's Square that a personal, direct, immediate relationship with Jesus Christ must be avoided at all costs. Quante volte abbiamo sentito questo? E eh, questo non va. C'è chi ritiene di poter avere un rapporto personale, diretto, immediato con Gesù Cristo al di fuori della comunione e della meditazione della Chiesa. Basically, the, 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 the rulers of this world, you know, these agendas under the WEF, that's going to be the new God, okay? All right, and they're going to need to to root out particular things, establish a new way in a new world to accomplish what they want, okay? It's no joke, man. Tentazioni pericolose. Sono tentazioni dannose. As though that wasn't disturbing enough, Francis followed up by ordering Christians to stop bringing people from other faiths to Jesus and Christianity. Pope Francis is a Satanist hiding in plain sight. And then he ordered his lackeys in the Vatican to proclaim that Lucifer is the god of the Catholic Church. That's right. According to Pope Francis' twisted mind, Lucifer is Jesus Christ's father and the god of the Catholic Church. Obviously, the new globalist Bible must be rejected out of hand by all self-respecting and God-fearing Christians. But what can we expect from this demonic text? Yuval Noah Harari, who serves as Klaus Schwab's right-hand man at the WEF, went on the record stating that the Bible is fake news and full of hate speech, and the elites can use AI to replace the Bible and create... He's a mo, so of course there's going to be hate speech to him, right? Because it condemns him, well, Amalekite mo a unified religion that's actually correct. Harari, who is known as the prophet in Davos circles, made the statement while giving a speech on the future of humanity. According to Harari, the power of AI can be harnessed and used to reshape spirituality to accept the WF's globalist vision. It can even write a new Bible. We, you know, throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 it came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, Artificial there might be religions that are actually correct. The people at The Economist know things that most people don't. And their magazine covers have a long history of telling us in advance about the political, economic and cultural developments that the elites have in store for us. Just one month before Harari's speech, the economists appear to be singing from the same hymn sheets. The elites laid That's the groundwork for this plan years ago, and now they're making their move. After this quick break, we will reveal the elites' intricate plan to crush the human soul and replace religion with their own dark spirituality. But first, an important...
to help if you want to invest in gold. But it's not just the cabinets. The global elite understand their dark spirituality can only succeed in a world devoid of religion. So they decided to destroy the world's major religions from the inside. WikiLeaks emails taught us that Francis was installed in the Vatican in a globalist coup orchestrated by George Soros, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. And the globalist bulldog wasted no time repaying his globalist masters by repeating disturbing globalist rhetoric at every opportunity. In 2017, Pope Francis called for a one-world government and political authority, that? arguing that the creation of a one-world government is needed to combat issues such as climate change. Speaking with Ecuador's El Universal newspaper, the so that charagma is coming. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the book of uh, Second Thessalonians. It will roll out because I, I don't have, you know. But uh, Lord willing, we'll do a news and prophecy this week and tap into some of this. Um, Second Thessalonians two and eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. He shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. NLT, this man will come to do the working of Satan with counterfeit power, signs, and miracles. Okay? And they commune with these demons. Okay? And they, they have power right now, but the Lord is, their power is weaning. Okay? He will use every kind of deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth. A lot of Jake is into that whole Catholic thing. Now, again, that whole lying wonder, we always go into this, but it, it, it continuously speaks. So we're going to keep going into it. The word pseudos or for lying wonders is pseudos. But when you look at it, pseudos, we know that word pseudo conscious and intentional falsehood. And they've presented themselves as if they really were representing the Bible but the whole time they were establishing Satan's kingdom on earth. But when you look at it, perverse, impious, deceitful precepts. So they've taken the Bible, all right, and turned everything upside down, as the scriptures say. All right? Your turning of things. I believe it's Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. How foolish can you be? He is the potter, and he is certainly greater than you, the clay. Should the created thing say of the one who made it, he didn't make me? Or does the jar say to the potter, who made me, uh, the, the potter who made me is stupid? Okay, so they're rebelling against their creator, but the Heavenly Father has them in this rebellious spirit. All right, for the purpose of the fulfilling of prophecy, man. Okay, so 2024 is getting ready to be more demonic. All right, prepare for more demonic activity. You know, prepare for more rebellion. All right, and prepare that if you're standing for righteousness, okay, prepare for persecution. Okay, but we have nothing to fear, you know, because ultimately it's already written what the outcome of all of this is going to be. You know, they, 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 they've created a mess and they plan on fixing it with this whole climate agenda, okay, which is going to lead to the haragma where you're going to have to be tracked, traced, limited, and pretty much if you have a particular ideology or you believe in something that doesn't go in line with their agenda, artificial intelligence will search you out and root you out, all right, and then of course that haragma will make you know the 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 the, the, the that whole thing easier to accomplish so we'll be back with more hopefully i'll edify show